Yo, what's going on, everybody? Your boy JC. Everyday thoughts is in the building. Today's topic is no need to have a man. You still have to carry your weight, his weight as well, too. You know, already a lot of stress over you on a day-to-day -day basis, as far as working, as far as dealing with kids, dealing with family members, and adding a man who's toxic to you is just going to hinder that. You know, if he's not there to try to help elevate you, try to support you, try to be there at your worst, then there's no need for a man to be in your life. You know, you just saying you have a man and, you know, you're having a peaceful man or having a man that's already married or already in a relationship, you don't really have a full man. You're not getting the full benefits of that man. You know, it's kind of like you work in a part-time job, you know, but you want full-time benefits. No, it doesn't work that way. You know, you have to make sure you get a man who really supportive of you, who care about you, who wants to see you grow and develop and blossom into the woman that you designed to be, you know. And then as men, we have to be a lot better when we're engaging women that we have their best interest, that we're actually trying to support them, we're actually trying to love them, and we're really trying to be the best man we can be. You know, sometimes we can come in and disrupt her, and a lot of times, a lot of women already, you know, taking, you know, good years of their life dealing with talks with men. And you don't want to be the man that continues to stress the pain. You know, you want to be the, the guy that alleviates the pain. You know, he keeps talking about his man, oh, I'm different, I'm different, I'm different. But your actions will show whether you're a different man or not, you know. You can't just tell a woman that you love her. You can't just tell a woman that you care for her. You have to be there for her. You have to care for her. You have to be tender towards her, loving towards her, not disrespect her, not belittle her, be life to her, you know. And don't put your selfish needs, you know, you know, rest those selfish needs to the side, you know, as far as, you know, you want to be up, you know, playing your video games, you want to be up, watch sports games, you know, what's what's wrong with trying to figure out something that she likes, you know, what's wrong with trying to make her a meal, what's wrong with trying to figure out what she likes to do with far what kind of movies she likes to watch, you know, start trying to be so dominant in a situation that you kind of forget her, you know, you're working so much that you forget that you got to call her, you got to make sure that she's okay, you know, stop doing that, but you got to be better men, you know. You know, we want better women out here, and we have to change, you know. We're supposed to be the leaders, but the only thing I see is guys, we're just out here, you know, messing around. We're not being faithful. We're not being honest. We're not being truthful. And it's hurting our woman, a woman pouring to us so much day in and day out. And a lot of times we do little to reciprocate that love and affection towards her, you know. So we have to do better as men, you know what I mean? So we have to quit pointing the finger at women, and we need to point the finger at ourselves, look ourselves in the mirror, and like, hey, I need to mess, you know, I need to get my act together, you know, because, you know, once her body, once her mind leaves, her body will follow. Like I keep telling y'all, you know, we gotta be better men, you know. Like I said, you know, you don't, and then also to a woman, trust me, you don't wanna be on your deathbed with a man's narcissistic, you know, maybe atheist, don't have no kind of vision, after your after your death you know you want him to be on your best side tender and you want to be look after you want to you know end of your life you want to be laughing you want to be smiling because you had great good times good adventures you don't want to be on the deathbed crying and you know a lot of a lot of regrets you know a lot of what else so you gotta be cautious of that as well too if you're a woman as well you know yeah you know you want to be we got supportive you know you're not really trying to invest in you trying to trying to you know, invest, you know, not, not, he's not trying to invest in you, you know, he don't have no kind of vision for you, no kind of plans, not for himself, but for you, for y'all both, then wasting your time, you know, I don't care how good the sex may be, I don't care how handsome he is, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when you write your obituary, you know, what do you want to say with your life when you look back, so you have to think long term, not just the short term, you know, you need to figure out this is the man for you. He's gonna cover you through thick and thin, he's gonna love you through thick and thin, or this guy just playing playing you. So the choice is yours. You wanna be 80, 90 years old, looking back on regrets, or you wanna be like, you know what, I had a good time, I had a faithful, loving husband or a faithful, loving boyfriend, and 
you know, we had a good time, we laughed, we chilled, or you want to live a life of regrets, you know. And as men, same thing with you, you know. You want to look back on your life and say, you know what, I had a good woman, I messed over her. Or you want to be the one like, you know what, I got, got this woman, I married her, we had a family, you know, we raised kids, and after I'm dead, then, you know, they have good, positive stuff to say in my obituary. Nothing negative, you know. All positive. So the choice is yours, men and women, you know. But like I said, that's all I got to say today. I'm out. JC, Everyday Thoughts. <laughs>